What I'm going to start off with is my Garnier BB Cream, and I'm just going to be taking a very small amount of this because my skin has actually been pretty okay lately. Um, and I've gotten tan from my vacation. Um, if you guys want to see Nikki, my best friend, Nikki Loves Beauty, um, she we vlogged in Miami, that's where we went, um, and it's on her channel. So I will link that below. So with a BB cream, I find that just blending and like almost smearing it into my skin, I guess, um, just creates the best look for me. But I know a lot of people use brushes, all that stuff. I just find that um, when I use my fingers, it kind of melts the product. I don't just use my fingers. I'm going to go in with a brush. So I kind of just smear it and get it pretty much just in the basic places I need. And then I will go right onto my cheek area and apply a little bit more there because I always need a little bit more extra coverage there. And then I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. powder brush and it's basically just this really stiff almost kabuki brush but not really and I'm just going to be blending that out and I'm looking right into the mirror so that's where I'm looking and also I love first off I do feel very confident with my skin um, tan because it just helps all my products just look a lot better and it just makes my face look like alive um, so I've been loving just using the Garnier BB cream a whole ton because now that I do have a bit more of a color to my face this does not look orange or cakey like it used to and I love it so now for concealer I'm actually going to be using this um, eyelid primer and this comes in the NYC Smoky Greens individual eyes palette and I love these palettes you guys if you have never tried them definitely get your hands on one I think they're about five dollars and they are amazing and I use this for concealer you have your concealer you have your highlighter and your eyeshadows literally you could be out the door um, so I'm just going to be taking some of that eyelid primer and you can use it under your eyes because it's very high coverage which is super surprising but I feel like it's almost like a MAC paint pot because they're very opaque and this is very opaque as well. And I'm just going to be applying that right underneath my eyes. And I'm sorry there's no music or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to do this tutorial. Because I was going through my makeup collection. And I was like, I have a lot of drugstore products. So why don't I do a video? So here I am. And if you guys could tell throughout this video, I kind of make a triangle with my concealer like I kind of just put it like almost like this and then I'll like circle it into my eyelids I don't know I do my concealer very weird I know um, but it definitely helps cover my under eye circles my redness which I have a lot of on my lids I have very translucent skin so you can see my dark circles my redness, um, my veins, all that fantastic stuff. And I'm sorry, this video is like me blending out concealer the entire time. It's okay, we like it that way, it's fantastic. And I always bring extra concealer onto my nose because you guys can probably tell it's really red. Okay, last thing I'm going to be doing is just grabbing a foundation brush and going into that primer and just loading up my foundation brush and then applying this to my nose this primer literally looks more natural than half my concealers I own which is why I sometimes choose it and it has no SPF so it won't flash and all that now I'm just going to flip it to the concealer side go back into that concealer obviously and just find little spots that need a little bit extra coverage 
and then blend it out with a foundation brush. I'm pretty sure it's either the eyebrow gel or whatever I'm using in this area, but recently I've been breaking out a lot up there and I don't like it. It's not fun. Okay, so my iPad is definitely making it look like um, I have a lot of makeup on, but I trick you not, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and that's what I love about this look, how it is very natural. Okay, so once that's blended out, I'm going to take a translucent powder, and this is the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I'm going to be grabbing it on a big fluffy powder brush, and just kind of rolling it just into my T-zone. That's the only area I really need it. My hair is getting in my way. So I only put my powder in basically the center of my face because that's pretty much all I need to set. Um, but if you need to set everywhere, you definitely can do that. So now I'm going in with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. And you guys know this is like a holy grail product for me. It cracked. I fixed it. It cracked again. I fixed it again. And I need a new one, but I'm in denial. And I'm going to use it up till it's finished. So I'm taking a Forever 21 brush. And I'm doing the sucking in and very heavily applying it at first, but don't worry, we're going to fix it. You can see it's definitely very too much, but we will fix that. And then I'm going onto my temples and then what's ever left, I bring it down my nose on the sides and then on the tip. Okay, now I'm taking my e.l.f. powder brush and just blending this out because it is such a stiff brush. It's going to really blend the product around my face. Okay, so I usually don't do blush, but today I felt like putting a little bit more of a glow into my face. So I'm actually going to be taking my Revlon Lip Butter in Cotton Candy. I wouldn't normally use this one um, because I don't like how much shimmers in here and I don't use this on my lips um, anymore. So I'm going to be smiling and applying it straight to my cheeks. It is going to give a nice glow. I just don't like that it has a ton of shimmer in it. Um, but I don't use this on my lips anymore. So it's fine to put on my cheeks. Then I'm just going to be taking, again, you guessed it, my e.l.f. powder brush. Um, if you guys don't own this brush, you haven't experienced makeup yet. It is the most versatile brush ever, and I love it. Um, but I honestly, can I tell you guys something? I don't understand the entire rave with these Revlon lip butters. I just don't find them that amazing. And they don't last on my lips too well. I'm just doing a second coat because it didn't come up as vivid as I wanted it. Um, but they don't last. They literally will come off my lips within 15 minutes of putting them on. You cannot drink. You cannot eat. I just don't think that they're worth the money because they are a little bit more on the pricier side. Um, but they do give a nice glow to my cheeks. And then I'm just going to go in with the highlighter from the uh, NYC palette. and slightly apply that to tops of my cheekbones and it's just going to give it a really nice glow. And you could put a little down the nose. Just going to give it a little bit more definition and then Cupid's bow. I always highlight my cupid's bow. I just love the way that it looks. Okay. Once that is done, we're going to move on to the eyes. So I already primed my eyes, but I'm just going to go over a little bit with like a second layer, just the smallest amount. Just so I can definitely make sure 
my eyeshadows are going to perform the best that they can. And this video is already 12 minutes. It obviously would not usually take me this long to do my makeup. Um, but since I'm talking to you and explaining it to you, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my eyeshadow brush, also from Forever 21, and I'm going to go into my Eyes Lips Face palette. And it kind of has pretty much every color you can pick up. So, today I'm going for a natural look, but um, if you guys want me to do like a nice drugstore going out look or a nice drugstore um, colorful look, I definitely can do that. So what I'm going to start off with is mixing two vanilla champagne sort of tones. I figure you don't have to see it because it's just your basic champagne color. And I'm going to start on my inner corner. And I'm ever slightly going to pack and sweep, pack and sweep onto my eyelids. And I repeat that on the other eye. The only bad thing with these shadows is that they definitely do not last too long and they're very chalky, but I use them because they have such a wide variety. So, I mean, that's kind of why I use them. But now I am just, I'll show you guys this time, I'm going into this nice golden shade right here. I'm just going to pack that on to my brush and then I'm just going to dip it a little bit into that um, yellow sort of golden tone. And, yeah, guys, this is not working. Um, I recently have been loving the look of yellowy gold on my lids lately. I just absolutely love the way that it brings out my green eyes. Because yellows and coppers and all those types of tones really do um, enhance green eyes. So I have been loving putting those types of tones on my eyelids. Also another question you guys, do you want me to do a favorites video? Because I can do that because I've never done one. Um, so when I say natural, I don't mean completely naked eye. I mean very subtle, very put together, but still not being too much. So I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush, and this is just from Target, and I'm going to go into this medium matte brown and I'm also going to mix it with like a chocolate any one of these browns will work it doesn't really matter as long as it is a nice dark brown that is definitely a lot of shades darker than your skin tone but just make sure that they're matte because the whole point is to balance out the look because we are going to be adding just a little bit of color at the end I happen to not love products in my crease. I think they definitely look a little too much um, sometimes, but since this is a light brown color, I think it's acceptable and I think it won't look too bad. So, weirdest thing now, I'm going to be taking that bronzer brush again and I'm just going to be blending out my eyes with this because it's so big and so soft it's really just going to just get in there and blend everything together so once that is done okay so make sure there's no fallout okay once that's done I'm gonna go back into that for one brush and I'm just gonna be picking up a matte black color you don't really have to see that and I'm going to be Applying that to my outer upper lash line and then dragging it down to my lower lash line slash waterline wherever it ends up. Guys, this video is 15 minutes long. That's not okay. Okay. So once that is done, I'm just going to apply my mascara, and it's the NYC High Definition Volume. As you guys can tell, I really do love NYC. Um, they haven't really failed me yet with a product. This mascara isn't my favorite. You can tell it's definitely pretty clumpy. 
Um, but I just always go over it with an eyelash brush. And it usually ends up great. Alright, so now the last thing I'm going to be doing is taking my eyelash brush and just combing through the lashes. You guys can hear my parents downstairs. So then what I do is I just kind of wipe it on the back of my hand and then it's going to have a little bit of the mascara left and I'm just going to use it to brush my brows back because it is a dark color but it's not too dark that it's going to overwhelm and I totally forgot to highlight so I'm going to go back in and do that just highlighting with a nice vanilla cream shade and I never forget to highlight I don't know why I did right now but this is the completed look I will get a little bit closer and it's just a golden eye with nice bright cheeks and nice kind of um, contoured face and everything like that. You can add your um, Revlon Lip Butter to your lips, but I just used it on my face, so I'm not going to be doing that. But um, yeah, this is the completed look, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, guys.